it's me, Beanie, and I'm here to review the Super Mario Bros. movie. Let's go! Okay, so I recently went to go see a Super Mario Bros. movie, so here are my thoughts on it. Okay, as usual, I talk about everything that I didn't really like first. Alright, the movie has a bit of a pacing problem. Like, it feels like for certain scenes, there was supposed to be more there, but it got cut due to time constraints or something. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, there are just certain scenes that feel kind of, you know, weird. Like, the scene where they were basically racing on Rainbow Road. Like, I feel like they wanted to make the chase scene a little bit longer, but, you know, it just kind of didn't pan out like it was supposed to. Like, just, you know, it just felt kind of weird. Also, um... I didn't really like the way that they implemented the power-ups. Like, I kind of wish they called them something else or explained, you know, what they're for a little bit better. You know, because I thought I'll call power-ups like it's a um, video game. I guess I thought they'd be a little more creative when it came to, you know, implementing them and what they do. I mean, I guess we all know Mario and just... I mean, they do explain exactly... I mean, Peach just explained at the towards the beginning of the movie that they like that they help enhance your abilities when you eat, like you know when you touch them slash eat them, you know. So I guess that's good enough. But I don't know. I just thought they kind of go more into detail. Also, I don't really like how they sideline Luigi for most of the movie. I mean, I guess it's better than Peach getting kidnapped, because we're all sick of fucking saying Peach get kidnapped. But Luigi's my favorite video game character of all time. It's my favorite Mario character. I was mad as shit when he spent most of the goddamn movie capture. I was kind of hoping he'd escape or something from his, after his prison, but okay, it's whatever. Yeah, like, I, I, I just wish Luigi did more. Now to get into everything that I did like. First of all, this movie looks amazing. Like, it looks really, really good. Um, the voice cast... Well, it got a bunch of professional voice actors to fill out the supporting and, um, you know, secondary characters. You know, but for the main characters, it was mostly voiced by celebrities. And most of them don't really have, you know, too much voice acting credit. Except for Jack Black and King of Michael Key. You know, everybody expected, you know, those two to do well. You know, I was kind of blown away by Jack Black's performance, though. Like, he is really good when it is all his Bowser. You know, like, speaking of which, I kind of love how Bowser tackles the line between being silly and intimidating, even though I would have preferred if he stayed, you know, intimidating throughout the whole movie. Oh, wait, I forgot something else I didn't really like. I didn't really like the fact that... You know, Bowser, I can know Bowser's whole motivation for doing this was to marry Peach. I, I mean, I get the fact that, um, you know, I, that, that's just kind of Bowser's thing now on Nintendo, but I, I, I don't know, man. I feel like they could have did just, I feel like they could have did just a little bit more, like, you know, like the Most of Kingdom has some kind of grand power that he wants to get at. And maybe he just falls in love with Peach along the way, but you know what? It, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. It took the Pikachu on Sonic the Hedgehog. We're still great. Never kind of bare bones, too. You know, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, getting back to what I was saying, though, uh, you know, the voice acting was really good, surprisingly. Thought Chris Powell was going to screw up, but no, he did a fine enough job. Also, um, like, also speaking of which, I, I kind of I kinda like. I kind of like how um, some of the pops will implement the scenes. If that makes sense. I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I kind of like the creative ways they use the pops in the movies, what I meant to say. That's what I was trying to say. Like, like, like for instance, you know, when Peach got the ice flower. Like, you know, she wasn't just throwing ice balls. She was doing all kinds of shit. Throwing ice punches. You know, throwing ice kicks. And then just... Like, and then just in the middle of a, and this and it is and this is a combo ender. She punches the ground and makes like it makes ice spikes come all out of the 
I come on, I come out everywhere. I want Donkey Kong with fuck. I mean, I want Donkey Kong and Mario with fire. Mario got the cast too. He was doing all kinds of stuff as a cat. He was using his cat like reflexes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make that pun. You know, basically dodge most of Donkey Kong's blows. Donkey Kong's just like, yeah, you know, you know, Mario was just fucking him up in the cat suit. And and as a combo in there for the platform things that they're fighting up, he 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 actually, yeah, Mario was actually shot. Yeah, yeah, Mario actually had enough power to come down and just send DK through so many grades. It was, you know, just such an awesome scene. And then towards the end of the movie, when the Mario Bros. managed to get the power of Star from, like from Bowser, they were doing all kinds of crazy, like they were doing all kinds of crazy shit. You know, when it came to taking down the Koopa army. Man, I mean, I know they were invincible, but it was still kind of cool to see them throw, it was still kind of cool to see them throw on some kicks and punches. Like, like just... Just, just that, 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 that final blow they did against Bowser at the end was hard, too. Man. Yeah, this movie's got a lot of back... This movie's got a lot of background characters I love. I kind of wish we got to see more Mario's... Like a Mario Luigi's uncle. <laughs> he, he was kind of that... He was kind of the generic, you know, funny-ass Italian uncle. You know, but, um... Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's that, that's actually another thing too. I wanted to bring up. You know, it was co- it was so cool to see. You know, what Mario, like what the Mario's parents finally look like. We we got to see the whole extended family. You know, we got to see their uncle, their aunt, their grandma. I think their little baby cousin just all sharing a tiny ass apartment. Or maybe it's one of those apartment. Maybe it's one of those apartment complexes where you get multiple rooms. Yeah, that's probably it. But whatever, Santa Mario Bros.'s family was actually really fun to see. Oh, I mean, I'm still kind of mad at the fact that we didn't get a trace of Daisy. Well, except for like this little emblem that we see in the background in one of the scenes. But at least we didn't get Rosalina yet. No, no just the Loma that's... Probably alluding to Rosalind in the next movie. Because it's probably going to be a next movie. They set it up pretty hard at the end. Um. Well, yeah, just an overall fun movie. Oh. Another thing. If people people are worried about the fact that the Super that Illumination was going to put their fingerprints all over this movie. But... There weren't that many bodily humor jokes. In fact, I can only remember one burp joke. And even then, it was kind of... I can even then... It was really subtle. Oh, another thing that I thought was kind of funny is the fact that Donkey Kong stays super salty at the Mario whipped his ass. <laughs> like, he's just like, I don't like you. He's just like, I don't like you, man. And I reckon together, but you're a dick. It's just like, like, damn, what did I do? Like, you know, we were supposed to fight, I beat you. What's the problem? Man, just, just. But yeah. <sighs> um. Uh, but yeah, you know, just. Oh. Also, for anybody that wanted to see Yoshi, he'll probably be in the next movie. If the like, if the post credit scene is anything that indicates. But yeah, um, you know, from, from little we did, from what little we did see, the King of Michael Ketoed, you know, he was funny as shit. Like, there's a lot of stuff that, um. You know, I like to say, there's a lot of stuff that, um, you know, I really loved about this movie. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of geeking. I'm still just kind of geeking out about it. You know? Oh! Also, if you're an old school Nintendo fan, towards the beginning of the movie, there's a lot of references to old school Nintendo stuff that you're gonna love and get. 
I'm not going to spoil any of them, but I kept nerding out every time I saw one. <sighs> but yeah, this was just overall a really fun movie. And, um... Oh, wait, one more thing I want to talk about. Even though he wasn't in the movie, watch... From what we did see of Luigi, Charlie Day was giving it his all. Like, if I didn't mention it already. You know, so, in conclusion, the Super Mario Bros. movie was pretty good. You know, it was a pretty decent way to start off, you know, the Super Mario Bros. film franchise. A lot better than the first one. Even though I do still really like the first one. Why, don't look at me like that. Maybe it's nostalgia bias, but I just, just I just can't bring myself to hate that movie. But yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes, because we're definitely going to get a sequel, especially judging by that stinger at the end. You know, with Yoshi's egg about to hatch. Yeah. Um, you know, peace out. I'll catch you on the next one. That's a terrible way to sign off. Still working on the sign off.